Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen. Come, let us worship God, our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Clap your hands, O nations, shout to God with a voice of rejoicing. Through the prayers of the birth giver of God, Savior, save us. For the Lord Most High is awe-inspiring, a great King over all the earth. Through the prayers of the birth giver of God, Savior, save us. He has subdued peoples under us, and nations under our feet. Through the prayers of the birth giver of God, Savior, save us. God has gone up in jubilation, the Lord with the voice of the trumpet. Through the prayers of the birth giver of God, Savior, save us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Through the prayers of the birth giver of God, Savior, save us. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised, in the city of our God, in his holy mountain. O Son of God, who has ascended in glory, Save us who sing to you, Alleluia. Mount of Zion up the north side is the city of the great King. O Son of God, who has ascended in glory, save us who sing to you, Alleluia. God is known in the towers of Zion when he comes to help her. O Son of God, who has ascended in glory, save us who sing to you, Alleluia. For behold, the kings of the earth were assembled, they came together. O Son of God, who has ascended in glory, save us who sing to you, Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Holy begotten Son, and Word of God, you are immortal. For our salvation you deign to be incarnate, of the holy birth giver of God and ever Virgin Mary. And without change became man. You were crucified, Christ God trampling down death by death. You are one of the Holy Trinity, glorified with the Father and the Holy Spirit. Save us. Hear this, all you nations, give ear all who inhabit the world. O Son of God, who has ascended in glory, save us who sing to you, Alleluia. Hear this, you of lowly birth or high position, rich and poor alike. O Son of God, who has ascended in glory, Save us who sing to you, Alleluia. My mouth shall speak of wisdom, and the meditation of my heart shall bring forth understanding. O Son of God, who has ascended in glory, save us who sing to you, Alleluia. I will incline my ear to a parable, and I will reveal my mystery upon the harp. O Son of God, who has ascended in glory, save us to sing to you. Alleluia.
You have ascended in glory, Christ our God, having made your disciples joyful by the promise of the Holy Spirit. Through your blessing they were assured that you are the Son of God, the Redeemer of the world. You were a model of abstinence and a foundation of the church, O Isaac, bright light of the fathers. For your life was radiant with virtues, and you openly proclaimed the orthodox faith. O righteous Father, pray to Christ our God to grant us his great mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Model of observance for monks and teacher of piety, your servants honor you, O God bearer, as you are the dwelling place of divine grace. Make us temples of the light of the Spirit, for we cry to you, Rejoice, O Father Isaac now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. When you had accomplished your divine plan for us, and had united earthly and heavenly things, you ascended in glory, Christ our God. Yet in no manner did you depart from us, rather you abide with us forever. And you cry out to those who love you, I am with you, and none shall prevail against you. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. The Prochemenon, be exalted, O God, above the heavens, and may your glory resound throughout all the earth. Be exalted above the heavens, O God, and may your glory resound throughout all the earth. My heart is ready, O God, my heart is ready. I will sing and chant your praise. Be exalted above the heavens, O God, and may your glory resound throughout all the earth. Be exalted above the heavens, O God, and may your glory resound throughout all the earth. The reading from the Acts of the Holy Apostles. In those days, when the apostles were gathered together to break bread, Paul talked with them, intending to depart on the morrow, and he prolonged his speech until midnight. There were many lights in the upper chamber where we were gathered. 
and a young man named Eutychus was sitting in the window. He sank into a deep sleep as Paul talked still longer, and being overcome by sleep, he fell down from the third story and was taken up dead. But Paul went out and bent over him, and embracing him said, Do not be alarmed, for his life is in him. And when Paul had gone up and had broken bread and eaten, he, con he conversed with them a little while until daybreak, and so departed. And they took the lad away alive, and were not a little comforted. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Clap your hands, O nations, shout to God with a voice of rejoicing. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. God has gone up in jubilation, the Lord with the voice of the trumpet. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. The Lord said to his disciples, The words that I say to you, I do not speak on my own authority, but the Father who dwells in me does his works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father in me, or else believe me for the sake of the works themselves. Truly, truly, I say to you, he who believes in me will also do the works that I do, and greater works than these will he do, because I go to the Father. Whatever you ask in my name, I will do it, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, you will keep my commandments, and I will pray to the Father, and he will give you another counselor to be with you forever, even the Spirit of Truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him. You know him, for he dwells with you and will be in you. I will not leave you desolate. I will come to you. Get a little while and the world will see me no more, but you will see me. Because I live, you will live also. In that day, you will know that I am in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. He who has my commandments and keeps them, he it is who loves me. And he who loves me will be loved by my Father and I will love him and manifest myself in him. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Remember us, O Lord, when you come into your kingdom. Remember us, O Master, when you come into your kingdom. Remember us, O Holy One, when you come into your kingdom. The choirs of heaven chant to you and say, Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord God of Sabaoth. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Approach, be enlightened, and you will not be made to blush. The choirs of holy archangels and angels, with all the bodiless powers of heaven, chant to you, saying, Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord God of Sabaoth. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, 
begotten, not created, being of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit, and the Virgin Mary, and became man, who was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, and suffered, and was buried, and on the third day he rose from the dead in accordance with the Scriptures, and descended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of the Father, and he will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. O Lord Jesus Christ, in your loving care, you traveled through towns and villages, curing every disease and illness. At your command, the sick were made well. Come to our aid now in the midst of the global spread of the coronavirus, that we may experience your healing love. Be with the families of those who are sick or have died. May they regain their strength and health through quality medical care. As they worry and grieve, defend them from illness and despair. Heal us from our fear, which prevents nations from working together and neighbors from helping one another. Be with the doctors, nurses, researchers, chaplains, and all medical professionals who seek to heal and help those affected and who put themselves at risk in the process. Heal us from our pride, which can make us claim invulnerability to a disease that knows no borders. Be with the leaders of all nations. Give them the foresight to act with charity and true concern for the well-being of the people they are meant to serve. Give them the wisdom to invest in long-term solutions that will help prepare for or prevent future outbreaks. O Master and Lord, our Savior, Healer of all, stay by our side in this time of uncertainty and sorrow. Whether we are home or abroad, surrounded by many people suffering from this illness or only a few, stay with us as we endure and mourn, persist and prepare. For you are a merciful and loving God, and to you we give glory. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord our God, who by a word alone healed all diseases, who cured the kinswoman of Peter of fever, you that chastise with pity and heal according to your goodness, who are able to put aside every sickness and infirmity, May you, the same Lord, grant aid to your servants, all the residents of the St. Pantaleman ministry who are ill and afflicted, all of our relatives, loved ones, and friends. Those who have asked us, remember them in our prayers, unworthy though our prayers may be, and those who have no one to pray for them, and cure them of every sickness of which they are grieved, and send down upon them your great mercy. And if it be your will, give to them health and a complete recovery. For you are the physician of our souls and bodies, and to you we send up glory. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Christ, our eternal King and God, you have destroyed death and the devil by your cross, and have restored man to life by your resurrection. Give rest, O Lord, to the souls of your servants, all the residents of the St. Pantaleman ministry who have departed this life, all of our departed relatives, loved ones, and friends, those who are newly departed, and all those who have departed this life throughout the ages, who have grant them rest in your kingdom where there is no pain, sorrow, or suffering. In your goodness and love for mankind, pardon all the sins they have committed in thought, word, or deed. For there is no one who lives and sins not. You only are without sin. 
For you are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your servants who have departed this life, O Christ our God. To you we send up glory with your eternal Father, and your all holy, good, and life-creating Spirit, now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. O God, absolve, remit, and pardon our voluntary and involuntary sins, in word and deed, known and unknown, by day and by night, in mind and thought. Forgive us all in your goodness and love for the human race. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on us. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Hospodi po miloi, hospodi po miloi, hospodi po miloi. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Dwarne milu jeste, dwarne milu jeste, dwarne milu jeste. All Holy Trinity, co-essential might, kingdom undivided, source of all good, be gracious to me, a sinner, establish and give understanding to my heart, remove every defilement from me, enlighten my mind, that I may continually glorify, chant hymns and worship you, saying, One is holy, one is Lord Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. <laughs> Blessed be the name of the Lord henceforth and forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord henceforth and forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord henceforth and forevermore. <laughs> I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be continually in my mouth. My soul will be praised by the Lord. Let the meek hear and be glad. Magnify the Lord with me. And let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he answered me. And he delivered me out of all my troubles. Come to him and be radiant, and your faces will not be ashamed. This poor man called, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord will camp around those who fear him and will deliver them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who hopes in him. Fear the Lord, all you his saints, because those who fear him lack nothing. The rich become poor and hungry, but those who seek the Lord will not be in want of anything good. Magnify, O my soul, Christ the life-giver, who has ascended from earth to heaven. Beyond understanding and speech, you became the mother of God and brought forth into time the one who is beyond time. We the faithful with one accord magnify you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. 
Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, O Lord bless. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen. By going up again into heaven from which you had descended, Lord, you did not leave us orphans. Show to all your people the works of your power, that your Spirit may come upon us and bring peace to the world, Lord and lover of mankind. Christ, when you came to the Mount of Olives, completing the benevolent plan of your Father, the angels in heaven were moved with wonder, and the demons trembled beneath the earth. The apostles were filled with both fear and joy when you were speaking with them. A cloud was prepared before you as an awaiting throne. Heaven opened its gate shining with beauty, and the earth uncovered its deep abyss to show the fall of Adam and his rising up to you again. As an unseen power raised you from the earth, you gave your blessing in a loud voice. The cloud carried you away, and heaven opened to receive you. Lord, such is the great work that is beyond words that you accomplished for the salvation of our souls. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Most compassionate Lord, after fulfilling the mystery hidden from all eternity, you, the Creator and Maker of all, went up to the Mount of Olives with your disciples and your mother. For the one who at the sight of your passion had suffered more than anyone else in her maternal love, had the right more than anyone else to share the joy that fills us today, as we witness your ascension into heaven. We glorify your infinite mercy, which overflows on. 